And now, your Midday Arklamist News Update. Good Tuesday afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Randy Stone with your Midday Arklamist Update. Here in Arkansas, a fire is burning hundreds of acres in Bradley County. Homes close to that fire are still being threatened. NBC 10's Scarlet Gully shows us the damage that's left behind. Hey guys, I'm here off of Bradley County Road 17 with high winds gushing. You can still see some of the smoke lingering behind me. Now this is just one of the locations affected by a weekend wildfire in Bradley County. I spoke to residents in the area that say they felt uneasy knowing their homes were less than miles away from the line of fire. One resident told me off camera that she was prepared for the worst as officials advise her neighborhood to pack a bag in light of possible evacuation. Another resident, she traveled out of town for the weekend and was terrified to come back to a damaged home. Smoldering stumps and flames still in the air two days after a wildfire took off Saturday in Bradley County, Arkansas. Officials say they calculate over 500 acres of damage from the incident, leaving many neighborhoods and area farms at risk. After this week, and fire. Bradley County Rural Fire Department wants to remind residents of safety measures with outdoor burning as a burn ban is in effect here and for many other counties across the natural state. For more information, you can head over to our website, marklamist.com. Reporting in Bradley County, for local news that matters, I'm Scarlett Gully. And just a reminder, early voting in Louisiana officially kicks off this morning and it runs through November the 1st. Polls will be open from 8.30 in the morning to 6 p.m. each day. And here's what you need to know about voting early if you live in Washita Parish. We have two locations you can vote early at the Washita Parish Registrar Voters Office at 1650 Desert Street, which is the health unit building on Desert Street, or the West Washita Senior Center in West Monroe on North 7th Street. Please remember to bring your identification with you. Um, if you don't have an ID, you have to complete um, an affidavit of identity uh, before we will allow you to vote. And in Arkansas, early voting started Monday, a day earlier than Louisiana. Early voting in Union County will take place Monday through Friday from 8 to 6 and Saturdays from 10 to 4. Arkansas voters can make their early ballot choices through November 17th. For early voting, we only have one location, and that's the auditorium. Typically, you have less lines. Um, you have a longer, um, rather than just going to vote one day, you have two weeks to get your vote in. So you don't have to wait as long. Um, so that's convenient for the voters. Arkansas voters can make their early ballot choices through November 7th. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather from the most experienced meteorologist in the Arklamis, Jared Floyd. Daytime highs today near 70 degrees. Rain chances are listed at 40%, but don't be misled by that because the showers and storms as they move west to east will uh, we'll see those rain chances gradually fall off as we work through the day. Just be aware of that. Winds will be west 50 to 20 miles per hour. Wind advisories are in effect, so just be aware of that as we work through the day. Lows tonight will be back in the mid to upper 40s. Those winds starting to die down. They'll be out of the northwest through the overnight time frame. But some cooler conditions as we head through the second half of this week. Morning lows will likely stay in the 40s for a few mornings. Daytime highs climbing back into the mid to upper 70s Wednesday, Thursday. Now, weekend plans will be a little soggy because we do look for the rain chances to return late Friday into Saturday. And some lingering light rain could uh, hang around late Saturday into Sunday. We're not looking for uh, Saturday and Sunday to be a complete washout, but it will be kind of cloudy and gloomy. At least that's how things are sitting right now. So, again, the rain much needed, but obviously for weekend plans, and Halloween parties and things of that nature. Just be prepared for the rainfall. Morning lows will climb and uh, again with the rain this weekend, not really expecting any thunderstorm activity. So uh, pretty typical fall like pattern setting up for the next couple of days. And once the rain clears out, look for temperatures in the 70s early next week. Good to see that rain in the forecast for this weekend. NBC News Daily continues now. God bless.